Norm Norlander here. We're going to do a dubbing brush marabou bugger next. This is a really an interesting approach for creating a very effective go-to fly. It's often used as a searching pattern for still water fishing when there's no apparent hatch or other activity. That can be tied in a variety of sizes and colors, uh, sometimes adding a bit of weight, a bead head, a cone head, perhaps some flash. This can all be very effective at times. In any event, the techniques are pretty much the same. Right now we're going to do just a simple basic marabou and rabbit fur version. Seems to work really well. Let's take a look and see how we put it together, okay? We're going to start out here by placing an appropriate size type of hook in the vise. You notice it just right at the top of the jaws. We're going to use some silver wire. It's actually nickel plated copper wire and run about a foot or so through the eye of the hook. Uh, give the vise a spin to twist it together. We'll slide our dubbing brush table in place. Put the tag in in the front. Hang the bobbin over the top of the table. Next I'm going to take some marabou. Beautiful stuff. I'll take a little pinch of marabou like so. And what I like to do is take and break the ends off. This way you don't end up with a paintbrush effect where they're all squared off. Okay, and we're going to trim these to length. They're much too long to use on a hook this small. So we get a little bunch of marabou. We place this across our wire that's on the table. Next I'm going to use some Hair's Ear Plus. This is real spiky Hair's Ear dubbing. It has some Antron mixed in with it. And we'll take a little pinch of this and just place this along the wire like so. Normally this stuff is really tough to dub because it's very spiky. Maybe just a touch more, okay? Yeah, you make a few of those and you get it just about right. Now bring the tag into the wire over the bottom wire. That forms our dubbing loop. Pull these two wires together and gently lift them off of the table and slide it out of the way. Give your vise a spin. You notice that we're bringing empty wire all the way out to here. There's a reason for that. You can break that off. Okay? And you make a bunch of those up ahead of time. Next we're going to start out by dressing the hook. This is where we put a layer of thread from one end of the hook to the other. And that way our materials have something to bite into. Just run it down about the point of the hook, about there. Okay? Again, we'll take a little pinch of marabou, about like this. Break the ends off, like so. You can trim them to length now or later. I like to do it first. Tie them in like this, okay? Pretty simple. And I'm going to take this dubbing brush that we made, and we're going to take the dubbing end of the brush, tie it in back here, run our thread forward out of the way, hang on to this and we'll use the dubbing part as the body. Isn't that neat? Okay. Come back with your bobbin and tie it off. Now that tag end of the wire that's been twisted together right here, we're going to use that as a rib. And we're going to counterwind, go the opposite direction that we laid on the dubbing with. About like so. Okay, come in, capture that, tie it off. Really clip off this extra wire right here. Bobbing out of the way. A couple turns of marabou. Come back and tie it off. Now very often you're trying to finish off the head on one of these marabou patterns. You can figure out that stuff in the way. So we'll take our little bobbin comb, pin back that dubbing brush. That makes it really easy to put on a nice neat small tapered head like so. Half hitch, come back and whip finish. 
So, we'll slide our tube back on there. Drop a head cement would be a nice idea. But that's really all there is to it. And that little beauty will really fish well. It has a lot of action to it, nice slender profile. I use that as a searching pattern. I've had really good success with it.